That's creepy out right there, bro. With the eyes shifted. It's like I was expecting it, but I st it still caught me off guard. Oh my God. When I was a kid growing up, I used to watch a lot of Scooby-Doo and all the paintings would have eyes that would follow Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and the gang. And it was always creepy. And when I'd see paintings in real life that seem to have eyes that follow you, it freaked you out. I got a good friend of mine that I used to go to his house when I was young, play Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. And his dad had this study and they had these white, these old paintings, these oval style paintings with the gold embossing. You know what I'm talking about. And it was just this glossy photo of a man or a woman that just looked very, very old. And they were so creepy looking like their eyes would just seem to follow you no matter what. I always hated looking at those paintings. So realistic or crazy looking paintings have always kind of haunted me not so to speak but i've always been kind of creeped out by them especially in crazy places so when i saw today's animation the portrait i was very very excited to react to it this one's by creepy animated stories let's check it out mr spencer has always been a hoarder for as long as he remembered he loved antiques more than anything else in the world vintage books watches coins busts cabinets and dressers he was also a fan of oil paintings and human portraits in particular. I got a neighbor With like each that. day he owned more and more of that stuff. On yet another walk, he decided to drop by the local flea market as usual. Mm-hmm. Bringing home all kind of junk. A neighbor, man. God. Porter. Like TV special style. Walking along the noisy roads and not finding anything interesting, he was ready to return home, but a lonely salesman caught his interest. More precisely, it was what this man was selling. A portrait. Good looking. A female portrait. She was drawn very vividly and realistically, as if a living woman was looking at him from behind the frame. She looked a little over 25 years old. A big forehead, a heavy look and unusually lively eyes that seemed to be looking at you. Straight dark hair went down beyond the frame of the painting. That's a very realistic looking painting, I gotta say. And honestly, them eyes like that, they look like they looking through your soul, man. Just deep, deep, deep into your soul. Don't worry, I'm not looking through your soul. I'm just, just looking at your face. There was something in this portrait that attracted him and he was ready to pay any price for it. Mm -hmm. It was a little creepy and even scary. Yeah. And clearly did not claim to be of antique value. But still, somehow, it caught the eye. It's kind of creeping me just looking at it. Without noticing it, Mr. Spencer was already standing next to this man and holding this portrait in his hands. The man gave the portrait and did not ask for money. He just nodded in gratitude looked back at the portrait in a strange way and left it quickly. I wonder if it's haunted and he just had to give it to somebody in order to get rid of him. Something's up with that portrait. Mr. Spencer stood with the portrait in his hands in the noisy flea market. And then, apparently, when he realized that he had received the portrait for free, he was pleased to go home. The portrait looked good only in the bedroom. Besides, there was almost no space on the walls anywhere else. Uh-uh. Not looking at me while I slept. Mm -mm. Already at night, before going to bed, Mr. Spencer felt someone's eyes on him. At half lights, the frame of the picture was not visible, and he mistook the portrait for a person standing next to the wall. Wow. There was something alive in that painting. Moreover, the hand's position seemed to have changed. It did, didn't it? I was thinking to myself, there's something not right about that painting. And now, some hands? Uh-uh, that's a, nope. Take it outside, burn it. Wait a minute, what hands? There were no hands in the picture. Or did I forget? <laughs> well, I guess I'm just exhausted. Mr. Spencer laying down and then fell asleep. The next day the portrait was still hanging on the wall and the experienced collector could not remember whether there had been hands before or not. Right. Well, of course there have been hands before. They could not have appeared later 
the old collector club again. In the evening, Mr. Spencer was going to bed. He walked past the portrait as usual, and suddenly he noticed that the eyes of the portrait seemed to be watching him. That's creepy out right there, bro, with the eyes shifted. It's like I was expecting it, but it still caught me off guard. Oh my god. They were clearly following him, moving from side to side. Mr. Spencer tumbled for a long time and could not fall asleep, thinking about how it was possible and whether it was his imagination. Turn to the that drugs! He took sedatives and fell asleep. <laughs> the next night, the portrait was still looking at him without taking her eyes off. Mr. Spencer began to think he was going crazy. I guess. When he decided to go to bed, he looked at the portrait again. The horror changed his body. What? His breathing ceased, and oh, no. his heart was ready to jump out of his chest. It wasn't the girl who was looking at him from the portrait anymore. Oh my but god. But a terrible smiling face. He decided oh to get up and cover it with cloth. God dang, that's a sinister look. Ooh. <laughs> or put it on the floor, and in the morning, he would put it in the storeroom so it could not scare him again like that. Bro, just get rid he of was it. Just about to get up. <laughs> when he saw the portrait move. The woman's hands, which were now folded on the chest, straightened up and creeped out of the picture. I hate it. <laughs> oh, that got me a little bit. Oh. Fear chained him up. It was so terrible and crazy that he could not get up from his bed. The hands were still reaching for him. They reached out so far that they were already getting at his ankles. They stretched across the entire room, right to his feet. The what the hell? hands grabbed him by the legs. He was scared to death. Kick it! Felt burning pain and fainted. No, kick and it! The hands dragged him into the picture, and the old collector disappeared in the darkness. What? The terrifying portrait. Uh, uh That's why the other guy gave it to him. We thought it was a haunted painting. That was really bad. <laughs> I collide scared the hell out of it. That was a good one. Whew. Guys, if you like this one, make sure to check out Creepy Animated Stories, the original animation. Link in the description below. Give him a sub. Give me a sub if you like this kind of content. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. This is Ulgan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.